So I'm sure you've seen a lot of neckline where yeah, one side is like V and the other side might be square or, you know, or circle neck or, you know, just like it's one neckline but there are different, you know, different designs on the two different sides and you're wondering like, hmm, how did they cut this? Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut a two-way neckline in very simple and easy steps. If you don't know me, I'm Adal Ju and I'm a Nigerian sewing blogger. I do, you know, videos on sewing tutorials, sewing tips sewing tricks and fashion business tips so if this is for you consider subscribing okay and click the notification bell and let's just go as usual into the tutorial So these are things I'm starting with my ruler, my scissors, my chalk and some pins. I've already folded the fabric into four. That's my zip allowance for the back side. And this one on top is the one for my front side or my front bodies. So I've not divided it here. I just wanted to show you that I've already done the fold for the blouse. So I just divided it with my scissors by the sides and took out my back part. So for my front part from the center I took 4 inches for my neck width I went ahead to mark my shoulder point Extended my tape downwards and marked half an inch I used this half an inch mark to shape my shoulder line when I was done with that I verified my measurement again then from the top I marked 4 inches downwards also marked 4 inches at that point because I want to make a connection at that point so for this neckline I'm creating a square neckline when I was done with that I repeated same thing for the other side When I was done marking the handle for this side, I remembered I didn't mark the armhole curve for the other side. So I just extended my tape 8 inches downwards and I drew my armhole curve. So this is what it looks like on both sides. Then I went ahead and opened it up. You can see this is a square neckline. This is a square neckline. I used my tape. From the neckline point of one side, I took 2 inches backwards. Now I'm trying to extend the circumference of my neckline so that I can insert another type of neckline in there. If you understand, just look at what I'm doing. Then from this side, I noticed that 4 inches won't be enough for what I want to do. So I took 1 extra inch, making it 5 inches at that point. So now I have 4 inches neck width on one side of my blouse and 6 inches neck width on the other side of my blouse and from that point I just drew sort of like a curved V neckline to the other point of my blouse. 
I verified the measurement again to be sure I was doing the right thing. So I just drew a curved V to that point. So this is how I created or this is how I create a two-way neckline. Is this easy but there's a trick I want to show you here. Straighten my lines, straighten my curves. So when I was done with that, I'm just going to cut through or rather I cut through those points that my chalk has already created outlines for me. So I started with the armhole, bend the neckline. You have to be very careful along this side. You have to take it slow and steady. Then the armhole again. And I was done. So this is what it looks like. Now is to mark the back to make sure the neckline aligns with what we have in front so for the back what i did here is on one side i took four inches for my neck width and one inch one inch downwards for my neck depth and just you know connected them together Then I went ahead to mark my shoulder point. Marked my shoulder line curve or shoulder line slant. Extended my tape downwards, marked my armhole point, and just connected everything together. I drew my armhole curve. And drew my slanted shoulder line so this is the side with four inches neck width so on the other side because you know we added two inches to the other side of that neckline in the front body so which means on this other side we have to mark six inches because 4 plus 2 is 2 m, 6 inches, right? So on this side, I marked 6 inches for my neck width and 1 inch for my neck depth. Then I connected them together. When I was done with that, I marked my shoulder point. Extended my tape downwards and marked my armhole point. From that point, I drew my armhole curve. And my shoulder lines so there's a trick to cutting this neckline just see just look at what I want to do so this is six inches then my arm hook off and this is four inch four inches neck width then my arm hook off watch what I'll do here I used my scissors and I cut through like I was cutting the normal four inches neckline I just cut it like normal like I didn't have a different measurement on the other side 
I also went ahead to cut my shoulder lines then my armhole curve I sure took my time cutting this thing <laughs> I didn't want to make any mistake then you can see that the mark of that two inches left on the other side and what I just did here was I raised one the fabric up raised that part up I'm not cutting two of them together and I just cut out that excess two inches so from here now what I just did here is I've successfully created a four inch width on one side of the blouse and a six inch width on the other side of the blouse do you understand you can see six inch width you can see those that two inch that i didn't cut on the other side so this is how to cut a two-way neckline is this simple is this easy if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't it means a lot to me please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified